You're listening to The Hello Well with Danielle Show, a podcast taking women of color on a journey exploring all things wellness and travel related. We're all about showing you how to put on your oxygen mask first and creating lasting self-care habits that will free you to travel the world and live the life you truly desire and not one you have to fake loving. I'm your host, Danielle Washington. Now let's buckle up and start this journey. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Hello Well with Danielle podcast. I'm your host, Danielle Washington, and today I'm talking about something that we all do. Let's keep it real. We all wash. Like, okay, I'm assuming most of us wash at least once a week. Hopefully you do it more than once a week, but we all wash at least once a week. But we wash our clothes and we care about the detergent. We all are like, you know, oh, I use this one. Oh, I use that one. We care about how our car is washed. But I asked the question, and I got this from Ayana Levanzant, who I'm going to be talking about today. She brought up a great point. It was like, why is that we care about how we wash our clothes, how we wash our car? But when it comes to washing our body, we just mindlessly go in the shower and just throw on some soap just so we don't smell bad. But think about what if you were intentional about this process? What if you were intentional about how you cleansed you, not just your body, but your mind and your energy? And that's what I've been doing by using her products. So let's keep it real. Ayana Levanzant doesn't really need an introduction, but just in case... I feel like she's just like our aunt that, you know, our favorite aunt who's been rocking with us and helping us heal for years. Like I don't even remember when I first found out about her because I know it was so long ago. I was living at my parents' house. So I know it was years and years ago that I found her books. But then of course, you know, most of us also know her from Fix My, you know, Fix My Life, you know, on the Oprah Network. But she is more than just what we know her as, you know, our favorite healer, you know, our favorite, you know, fixing people's lives on TV and our favorite author. She's a spiritual teacher. She is a Reiki master. A lot of people don't know she's a Reiki master, but she's also a master herbalist. And she has launched the most bomb bath therapy products or body therapy products. Um, And I love them. Like I literally Love, love, love. And that's why I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about it. It's called Masterpiece. And it is literally changing how I show up every day. It's literally changing how I bring peace into my life. And I was like, this is not something you keep to yourself. And I love that she's not about keeping herself because this is a product she's had for a while. This product initially started off with her daughter who transitioned in 2003 to cancer. And in 2006, Iyana picked it back up, really focusing in on the energy around the person and on the person. She felt guided to add African black soap. And if you don't know a lot about that, you know, there are a lot of great benefits by using African black soap, but it also doesn't have like the lies and dyes that you find in commercial soaps. And this was something for, you know, from 2006 to now really wasn't widely distributed. It was just something that she made at home and gave to friends. And it wasn't until recently the pandemic when she felt called to be like, mm, I think this is time that, you know, there's a lot going on in this energy in, in the world that we need to be focusing on. And one thing I love about what she's doing is, she talks about how we're all energy and that we're not taught that we're all of us are beings of energy and that this is a process of education. And that's something I talk about when I'm talking about Reiki and how all of us are all energy, that we attract energy, we exude energy. Like, you know, say if you're like in a bad, you wake up in a bad mood and then you project that onto someone else at work or you're, you know, stressed, you're in traffic and you're all stressed out and then you bring that stress to wherever you're going. You kind of carry that stress and that, that's energy. Or think about when you say, you know, mm, you walk in and like this energy don't feel right. That's energy that you're feeling or something doesn't feel right. You're feeling energy. Or you're like, you know, mm, I don't really like someone's energy or their energy feels negative. Energy impacts us in so many different ways. It impacts our money. It impacts our relationships. It impacts our careers. It impacts absolutely every aspect of our life. And one thing that she is focused in on creating this product, with, within creating this product, it's really helping us learn and take responsibility for the energy that we bring into any space. Because most of us ain't paying attention to our energy. 
we're not cleansing it. We don't even know, maybe not know how to cleanse it. And that's something that I didn't necessarily know. Like I knew like, okay, let's use sage and you know, Palo Santo to cleanse the energy. But it wasn't until I started doing more of my own healing process that I was like, oh, learning about creating, taking spiritual baths and learning about being intentional about how I bathe and cleanse myself. And these products using Masterpiece has definitely helped level up and elevate that process in a way that I was doing good. Like, I feel like I was okay with it. But like, again, part of the reason why she announced this now and launched this product now is that the energy in the pandemic has been mad crazy. You know, what we used and found meaning in, we found value in, found comfort in was hella disrupted. What we knew was just like, nope, out the door. For me, it was like my love for travel. That's what I was using to clear my mind and clear my space. And when that was disrupted, you know, we had all this energy of fear and loss and anxiety, and we didn't know what to do. And that's when Iyanla became really aware that people aren't conscious of how they're thinking and how they're feeling. We're not conscious how we're thinking or how we're feeling. And how our experiences create this veil of energy. And if you're not sure or paying attention to the energy around you that you're creating or the exuding or attracting, there's no wonder why we're feeling this chaos internally, not just externally in our life, internally, and then it shows up externally. And that's why she decided to expand Masterpiece on a larger level. And this is not just oh, she's making these cute, you know, luxury bath bath and body products, which are great and they are amazing. But it's really about her creating a movement to teach people how to master their energy and to have peace. Because if you don't master your energy and there's no peace in your mind, in your heart, again, you're living in chaos. And do you really want to live in chaos? I mean, I don't. And I feel like a lot of us have been living in that. And so she's created these bath, like mainly there's other things, but there's bath wash, there's butters and there's scrubs. And every product has a specific purpose. Um, It has unique herbal and essential oil combinations, scents and names. And like one thing that she talks about that I thought was really cool was that the scents actually really do matter. Like, you know, the scents in terms of the energy matters. And if you think about it, The scent is the only physical sense that we have that doesn't get processed through the brain. So it goes directly through the olfactory nerves and it creates these memories. So, you know, say if I closed my eyes and someone had like an onion in front of me, I would know that the smell, I know the smell of onion. Or if I think about, you know, the smell of collard greens, which, you know, brings me back to like family dinners. I'm like, "Mm, collard greens, smell of chitlins. It reminds me of my aunt's house, which is not a good smell. But it's just, again, it's that scent that brings back a memory. If you smell like onions or, you know, oranges or lemons or eucalyptus, it has those, the olfactory nerve brings back a memory or stimulates a memory by those smells. Because again, it's the only sense, physical sense that is not processed through the brain. So when you're smelling things, it, it can help you with your healing process. And so, Each of these, you know, body products has a herbal combination, an essential oil combination, and a scent that is used to stimulate a certain experience to help you clear the energy and create peace. I'm like, again, who doesn't need peace? We all need peace in our life. And so the body products first are about, you know, basically creating peace within the physical body. But then the other part of it is about creating peace in the mind. And what I love is that she has with each product has an affirmation with it. So like one of my favorites is the, uh, what was it? It's the clearing, clearing and releasing. Like, I hella love this. And it comes in a bar too, but I use the liquid form. But on this, it has this affirmation that says, I bless and I release all things seen and unseen, known and unknown, the block delay, hinder, or deny my highest good. My heart is glad and rejoice. Imagine every day, you know, you're 
taking this, you're putting on your body, you're lathering, and you're taking the time slowly to lather your body. And you're saying in your mind or out loud, I like to say it out loud as I'm like washing myself, you know, I bless and I release the things that are known and unknown, seen and unseen, that block, hinder, delay, deny, or diminish my highest good. And for me, and each one of these products has its own meaning. So I think for this one, this is about breaking, discharging, dissolving, and eliminating. I, when I was going through trying to break certain things out of my relationship that just ended, I was using this with, and I, I mean, I love the scent. I don't even know what's in the scent, but there's a, something about the scent that's like, it's very calming and energetic to me, but it also, it makes me feel kind of like, well, you know, when you kind of feel like you're like, you lift your chest up a little bit more and you feel like you're just good, like you're grounded. That's what it feel like when I use that product. And I use several of the products and each of them does their own different thing. Uh, each of them does their own things. And so like, you know, when, what I like to do is like while applying, like I like to hold a specific thought in my mind and that's the affirmation. <clears throat> and that's the affirmation that she talks about, you know, and being intentional with the cleansing. And when you are intentional with the cleansing, you actually end up turning what is a common daily practice that you do every day or every other day or twice a day or however long you bathe and bath or whatever. I'm not, again, not judging, but it turns that process into a self-care ritual. And we're all worthy of self-care. Self-care doesn't have to mean I'm getting my nails done or something like that, because the reality of it all, and she talks about this as well, and I, I really appreciate that she brings up, is like, you can get your nails done, you can you know eat healthy, but if you have a mean mind, if you are talking to yourself negatively, you're not practicing self-care. And what these products do help you to bring it into a habit to talk healthily to yourself, bring into the habit to affirm positive in your mind. It brings into your senses of positivity through the combination of herbs and essential oils that she uses. And each of them, each product has a specific use. And it just, for me, has been Again, kind of a good changer. I, I I like using it every day because it's a part of my ritual every day to pour into myself. It's a part of me that allows me to take care of my body better, but also take care of my mind because we want to feel good. I mean, we want to smell good. We, we all want to smell good. No one wants to be funky. That's why we wear deodorant. That's why we bathe. But we also want to feel good. And this is a form of radical conscious self-care. So it's not just about creating a body product. It's about, you know, this self-care education. And it's about her teaching us how to create better energy, how to cleanse our energy and how to take care of our energy. And so in that we are responsible for the energy that we put in our body. And so one of the other products I love is called, and I'm going to botch the name, Kita Maldicion. This body product right here is about purging, eliminating, terminating, and transmuting. And with this one, the affirmation is, I now embody and imbue the divine qualities of my authentic self. Every aspect of my mind and body is now filled with the presence of light. And I love this one because it says, this powerful blend is made with Quinta Maldición, commonly known as the evil chaser. So it's basically about like breaking curses and it's used over the course of seven to 21 days. It will clear spiritual heaviness and darkness as it raises the energetic vibration of the body aura. This is excellent blend for those diagnosed with ADD, ADHD, ODD. I don't know what ODD is. I'll look that one up. Press nope, I don't know that. Um, because it helps to release mental and spiritual energies that cause disruptance in the energy field. Again, this was one of those ones when I felt like I needed to like really purge. And I was thinking about, you know, when you think about new moon or full moon, when you're like you're releasing different things. This was one of the ones that I like to use for seven days straight. And I also use the body scrub. So 
there's a body scrub that, that comes, this comes in the body wash as well as a body scrub. I don't think there is a, a, a butter, but I could be wrong. But I like using these two together if I'm trying to, again, transmute something, get something, release something. I feel like there's each one has their own different thing. Like with the one for Yimaya, which I love, is... I loved using this at night. It's for grounding, it's for clearing, it's restoring, it's refreshing. And it feels like I'm just like, there's, and like as I smell it now, I'm like, oh my God, the smell of this is just so amazing. Like I applaud her for just not creating just anything. I'm not saying other people do create just anything, but being intentional about the herbs that she used. She's being intentional about the essential oils and the scent. The combinations of all three is something that comes together to create this um, amount of peace. And so one of my other favorites is the Peace and Calm. It comes in a bar. It comes in a wash. I also have the body butter as well. And it's just this one with the body bars is one thing she created this one for is because it, you know, if if you have kids, you know, you know, you don't want your kids wasting all the liquids because, you know, when you're using a liquid, oftentimes it, you feel like you're, you're probably wasting it. Like, I know I do that with my hair products. Like, I'm like, oh, Whoops, did I use that much? But with the bar, you know, you kind of monitor the amount of using it. It lathers up beautifully and it's great for kids if you want to use this. And with this one, I think, and I don't think, so the affirmation with this one is peace is my natural state of being. Calm is my energetic experience. I love that calm is my energetic experience. I vibrate the magnetic warmth of love. So I use these and then what I'll do is afterwards, I'll grab one of the body butters, which smell good, they're great, goes a long way, you don't need a lot, and which also have affirmations on it as well. And I start my day with, okay, how do I want to, not just how do I want to smell, but how do I want to feel? Do I want to purify my body after I've done a yoga class or I've done some kind of spiritual work? Do I need peace in my life? Do I need to cleanse something? Do I need to ground? And going by being intentional about using these products and really mastering your peace and your energy, you're finding a way through these products to sew into your energy so it can help you throughout the entire day. Throughout the entire day, you've started the day off mentally being intentional about how you show up in terms of your energy. And I just think that's bomb. So Again, I get no money for this whatsoever. I just really love the products. Oh, one thing I did mention was there's this other thing that she has, which is called the Afterglow. And it's an oil. So it's a moisturizing shower oil. And it is hella, hella, hella good. I love, love, love this. It's a mix of six natural oils. Um, and it is just divine. It's to refresh, renew, moisturize. It just smells good. I feel great. It is just... Again, all these products for me, and I have several of them, and I'm not one who buy a bunch of stuff like this. I'm not one who buys a lot of skincare products that I'm real basic in terms of that type of stuff. But when it comes to being, when I learned about Masterpiece from Yana Van Zandt, and I learned about the intentions and started, you know, I bought one or two, and then I started like, oh, this is really good. So then I bought way more. I've discovered through being intentional about my daily practice of washing my body and slowing down the process and really utilizing the guidance that she offers to help us you know, be conscious about sins, to exfoliate and eliminate dead cells, to eliminate the energy that no longer is serving us. And using these, as she talks about, in support of all the other things I'm doing. So She doesn't say that using this, your life is going to be great and it's all over and you don't need anything else. That's not what she's saying with these products. What these products do is they are a complementary product and tool to use in your self-care, self-care tool that works with journaling. It works with your spiritual work. It works with therapy. It works with, you know, shadow work and adding these products to the work that you're already doing just elevates everything you're doing so you can get out of survival mode and really thrive. And who doesn't want to thrive? And this is her legacy. 
to her daughter. She's bringing in her ancestry culture of, you know, her Native American background. She's using what her daughter created and creating a legacy for her daughter. She's helping people get out of their own way and be conscious about how they're showing up and not having this veil of energy that may be negative that we're not paying attention to, but having a conscious way of clearing and cleansing your energy. So you could be your best you. And who doesn't want to be your best you? So for that, I hella thank you, Yana. Yana, oh, girl, don't let me botch up her name. But I hella thank her for creating this. I hella thank her for not keeping this to herself because we need this. There's so much negativity and toxins in the world. You just get on your phone and scroll a little bit and you'll see a lot of the things. Like you'll see people talking about, oh, this is bad, that's bad, or all these different things. And it just, it, whether you're listening to your body or not, your body is taking in those, those, those conversations and it shows up in different aspects. And so when you are having a conscious way to cleanse the energy in your body, it's just a game changer and we need that right now. So I encourage you guys to get it. I will make sure to have links to this on the website these products are fire. You can get them in small, like individual, like I got to make a mini kind of sampler package, but I also have the, the bars. I have the scrubs. I have the soaps. I, my favorite is the clearing and releasing like that hands down is my favorite. And then next would be like the afterglow and the Yama Ya, um, but all are fire. Keeping it real. All are definitely fire. All are definitely worth it. And it's worth it to have peace peace with without peace life is just chaotic on that note i wanted to remind you guys that we have two events coming up on the 22nd to 22 22 22 i don't know why that was so hard to say uh i am doing a event with heather archer of thriving with heather we're doing a combination of sound healing and Reiki. So I encourage you guys to come to that. And on the 23rd, every month, every fourth Wednesday of the month, we do, we as an I do a free Reiki healing for the collective for one hour. So join me for free. You can go to the website, go to hello well with Danielle slash dot com slash events. And you can see about all the different events we have coming up. And it's just another way for you guys to cleanse your energy and heal because you are worthy. If no one told you, didn't told you today, you are worthy just because you breathe, just because you exist, because it is your birthright to be worthy. I love you and I'll see y'all next week. Ciao.